and for whatever reason, we gain all this weight, and then we believe we're too old to, to get rid of it. There are so many people who feel horrible about themselves. You don't have to. There is, there absolutely is hope. Did you push record? Thanks so much for joining us again on Second Act TV. I'm welcoming Robert Manny back for a different segment today, actually, Robert. <laughs> First of all, Great. thank you for joining me again. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. If you haven't met Robert yet, if this is like your first time ever tuning in, Robert is one of our feature experts here. <laughs> he is the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. <laughs> We're laughing because I always you got it right. You got it right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and he's the host of Guys Guy Radio right here in Los Angeles every Wednesday evening live and podcasts all over. We'll link to all of his information. And today we're going to switch gears a little bit. And that is, uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about dating and, you know, and men want active women and infant and this and this and that. And one of the big issues out there is that. A lot of us after 50, well, the younger ones too, are simply out of shape and don't believe that, that we can ever get in shape again or that it's even possible should we even try. And that's why I really want to talk to you because both you and I have said off camera that we, we, we became or went into our best shape of our life after 50. Talk to me about that. I knew you have a strong opinion. <laughs> well, uh, I, I just think, you know, everything's about if you're a boomer um, like myself, it's about longevity now. And I talked I have a lot of uh, guests on my show, Guys Guys Radio, and they, they deal with wellness and diet and fitness and spirituality. And it's all it's all one in all in the same basket. And the, the key thing is, you know, for men, men have a tendency to get stuck. And uh, a lot of guys I know from college, they have the exact same lifestyle. They consume the same things. They work the same industries. They have a high stress. They gain weight. And uh, it's just tough. And uh, then they have the wrong diets, too. They, they, they haven't shifted their diet. And, uh, you know, and everybody gets emotional about that, whether you to eat meat or plant based, whatever. But you have to use the science. You have to do your research. But the main thing is you have to be active. And uh, it, it, I've created some routines for myself that have been incredibly helpful. But for anybody out there, if you, you're not doing anything, the very first step is to just get started and, and have some goals and be realistic. And you don't have to kill yourself. If you're over 50, you don't have to go in the gym and do bench presses all the time. You can work with your own body weight. There's lots of things you can do to take care of yourself because over time, your physical body you know, has a tendency to break down. And you need to be careful with what you consume and how you put yourself out there. And it's very important to take care of yourself um, fitness wise as you age. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, and like, like for me in my 40s, I got into horrible shape. I was in a miserable marriage. I gained like, oh God, uh, I was almost 150 pounds, which for me is, is huge. <laughs> And I mean, I shocked my friends when they came visited me. And a lot of, you know, speaking from the women's perspective, we find ourselves in that, uh, you know, in, in for whatever reason, we gain all this weight, and then we believe we're too old to, to get rid of it. And I, I know I had awakening up and literally got into the best shape of my life. I ran my first marathon at 55. And, wow. and that's, well, it's not, I'm not saying that. To I, didn't, I didn't think you would even 55. I thought you were like 42 or something. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Add 20 years to that. <laughs> My gosh. Fantastic. Just, oh, Seriously. You, oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, so, well, the same with you. It, it's, it's really, and, and that's how kind of what it comes down to, in my opinion, is, is the state of mind and the belief that you can do because you can physiologically I mean there's all kinds of studies and I'm going to link to a bunch of articles that are very inspirational of people who have done it but that's what I what I kind of really want to also hear from you Robert is how how do you how, how do you break that mindset when you're well 
uh, I think you've got to start somewhere. You say, okay, what do I want to do? I, I found myself. Uh, I knew I'd be. Uh, I knew I was out of shape. Not when I started not feeling good about the weight I was carrying around. Just didn't feel right for me. And I have a scale, and I would get on a scale and say, you know, the scale tells you one side of the story. But it's also how you feel. And you might find that as you age, you know, your 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 proper weight. Uh, is actually higher than you might have thought it was. There's nothing wrong with that. But you also want to go to like, where where do I want to be? How do I feel? How do I get started? What are my goals? And it's like anything else. So maybe write them down. This is what I want to be able to do. Is it realistic or not? What what I've done over the years, I mean, I started doing push-ups when I was like 12 years old. I'm doing more per day now than I did when I was 12, 25, 35, 45, 55. I haven't stopped. And uh, it's made a huge difference. But what I found is routines can be helpful. Some people get bored with routines and other people don't. I find a routine is comforting. So what I do is I get out of bed. I don't go to the phone. I don't touch the phone. So many people immediately grab the phone. I sit up and then I will meditate for five minutes, just five minutes, just to get myself all clear. Then I get up and I do a workout. It's the Peaceful Warrior workout that Dan Millman, who wrote the book, uh, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior. He has a 15 minute workout in there. And he, I interviewed him. He's 75 years old. He looks about 50. And I'm like, what, do you do that workout all the time? He's been doing it for like 30 years. So I'm like, okay, what is this? And there's a lot of uh, movements that are, uh, that men don't like to do a lot of stretching, mm. a lot of floor work, but you can do it all in about 15 minutes or less. And I've been doing it every day for three years. It's made a huge difference in my suppleness of my body, my spine. I'm not sore anymore. So anyhow, get some type of routine. After all that's done, maybe I do some affirmations. I do my own version of prayer or whatever. And then, then only then where I open up the computer or look at my phone. And I got that from Ellen Musk has written about that. This is how he starts his day. So if you don't want to take it from me, take it from the guy who developed the Tesla and rocket ships and stuff, because having some type of routine um, is, a, is the first step. Now, this is after a lifetime of being uh, mindful of fitness and wellness and diet. So I can't say everybody's going to jump initially into that, but set yourself some goals, see if you can come up with a routine and stick with it. And it's just the little things, the little things over time, over time, you keep doing the same things over and over again, you're going to get the benefits. Yeah. Well, and I think one one thing that's important as well is is to understand why you're doing it. As you you know, as you said, longevity is the name of the game right now, both in terms of physical and your brain health. Brain health mm -hmm. is yeah. huge, of course. Uh, and we know that you know obesity and, and you know that kind of sedentary processed lifestyle. Food, don't yeah, a oh, processed food exactly. <sighs> You know, and some people may be listening, going, "Yeah, yeah, we've heard this all before." And da, 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 da. the thing is, there is no secret to weight loss or, or, or fitness or well-being. It's eating less, eating the right foods, and you know, and, and and moving, and getting rest and hydration, and also putting out the right mental positive vibes. If you're all stressed out, I mean, you know, if you get up and you look at your phone, I, I start to notice that I, I was feeling the phone is going to be. Uh, negative that is going to be depressing i don't want to open it up i don't want to look at that so i don't want to look at fighting about the re re election and all that to start my day and you know what you don't have to that's your choice so minimize media also to listen to guys guys radio and second act tv <laughs> but the the point is you don't have to you, you have to be careful what you consume not only physically in the food choices you make whether it's meat based or plant based or fish or vegan or whatever but also in what you consume mentally in terms of what you read, what you listen to, right. what you respond to, because there's a lot of triggers out there and people are uptight with COVID and everything else. And you notice that the, the people who are having the major problems with COVID uh, have underlying conditions also. And so what can, there's very little that's sp spoken about. OK, here's what you do to Give your immune system the best chance of fighting things off. How do you strengthen your immune system? And in Western medicine, you know, we, it's fantastic. The technology is there when something happens. But there's very little out there about what you need to do as preventative. Right. And that all is, balls into what longevity is all about. So listen, I'm not a doctor. Silk is not a doctor. But we're in good shape and we're healthy. And we can say this is what works for us. 
And uh, it's up to you out there. Do, do what you want. It's always your choice. But I don't think you can argue with choosing the right foods, choosing the right media, getting enough rest, hydration, exercise, get out in the sun, do something. If you don't, you don't have to pump iron. You can take a walk, whatever, but get yourself going. Yeah. And think positive thoughts. Exactly. And if you feel bad about yourself, and, and again, I get all these comments, you get the comments, you know, with doing what we do. There are so many people who feel horrible about themselves. You don't have to. There is, there absolutely is hope. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. went through it. You went through it. I have personal friends that, you know, went that you know, after 40, 50, started running, lost, you know, 50 pounds, reversed heart disease. Uh, and I'm going to link to uh, several articles that really ins that were really inspirational about people even after 70. Yeah. Who, and, then, who... and, and factoring it in where, OK, you, some people don't like running or they have problems with their right. hips and their knees or this or that. Well, I and, and then with the weights, I, I believe in weights, but I, I now do less of that and more swimming, mm -hmm. less running, more swimming, things that are easier on the joints and all of that. But even if you work out with the weights the right way, they will actually strengthen a lot of your skeletal system and your muscles and all that to support that. So just, exactly. you know, do your research and do something. Yeah. I think the main, first yeah, the main thing I want to leave people with is that there is absolutely hope. Yes, you can get, unless you're an Olympic athlete or a pro, you know, former professional athlete, you can get in the best shape in your life yeah. after. Yeah, and it's, it's more of a, to me, Silke, it's more of a lifestyle thing. It's not, you know, you don't, you're not going to, you don't have to have the goal of getting in the shape you were in when you were 35. You don't want to have that or you say, okay, well, I'm different now, whatever. But you can still take care of yourself. And there's a lot of ways to do that. And it can be fun and it's going to add to the longevity. But you have to make some steps. And everything we do in life is a choice. You eat this or that. You do this or you do nothing. You, you, know, you pick and choose. I'm going to watch this or that. I'm going to meditate or I'm going to you know, watch CNN or Fox or whatever. It's your choice. Right. And you have to start uh, being open to shifting those choices as you go along because you ask yourself, okay, if I do make that choice to watch CNN or Fox, what am I going to get out of it except agita? Yeah, exactly. Well, and you know what? I, I am one of those people that grabs the phone the first thing in the morning, and I, I'm going to stop doing that. I mean, news and all that, I've, I've quit a long time ago, but I will check my phone. I will, you know, check the stats on YouTube, check my other. <laughs> but I, you don't have to do it first thing, because it does. A lot of times it just pisses you off. It, so it'll, thank you. it'll be there <laughs> once you get yourself set and going and respect yourself first. Yeah. Get yeah. yourself ready for the day and then get, you know, sometimes you have an emergency type thing. You have to jump on it right away. Totally understand. But, you know, then maybe get up a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you can you can do it. It's it's and the routines, uh, instead of being boring, they can be exhilarating. For, for, I'm, I'm like a routine person. That's fun to me that I did it again. I didn't miss a day. I did my peaceful warrior workout. I did my quick meditation. I did some push ups. I, you know, I did some affirmations. I got to check, 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 check. For me, call me boring. I like that. <laughs> It's, it's comforting. Consistent. I think it's and comforting. I feel better than I felt in 30 years. Truly, yeah. better than I felt in 30 years, and I've got the results to prove it in terms of how I thought, how my body's working for me, etc. Exactly, I 100% I agree. And again, speaking to those people who feel like no, I'm just it's just too late for me. The more you actually have to improve, the greater improve you know the quicker improvements you'll make. <laughs> yeah, just so, take that first step. That's yeah, cool. exactly. If you haven't done anything and it's been years, if you can, if your joints no longer okay, take a walk, go yeah, out, take a walk. walk. And then start thinking about, do I want to eat this or do I want to eat that? It's really tough for people who have been eating the same way for many years to make the changes. But you know what? You can make the changes. And, you know, if you start to get to the point where it's, you know, I think it's like 60 percent of people over 55 are taking like three to eight meds every day. That's, crazy. That's a, lot. That's That's a crazy. statement about our our culture. Yeah. And I'm not criticizing that, but I'm saying, you know. We don't get enough information, people sharing ways that we can take better care of ourselves. And that, that's the whole thing. We just want people out there to be healthy and feel good and feel good about themselves. Exactly. exactly. So we're coming from a good place from the heart and uh, it's worked for us. Exactly. Robert, thank you so much. Um, is there anything, anything else you want to add before we close out this segment? Always love yourself, respect yourself. And if you want to do something like this, just take that first step. Just say, what can I do to get started? It's the first step is the most important, but take it.
Exactly. Well, Robert, uh, we will, of course, link to all of your information, to your website, to uh, Guy Sky Radio. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again on Second Act TV soon. Take Thanks. care. Bye, everybody. If you have an idea for a topic that you'd like us to cover, please drop us a line on our website. We have a little red suggestion box on the upper right-hand corner of our site. Just click on through, send us an email, let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time.